What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 18, and we are still at the Shotgun Messiah Factory. Um, apparently, I didn't go home uh, off-camera. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't, which is great because we've got some more loot to get here. Um, <laughs> this is going to have nothing to do with today's video. I just wanted to get this loot because there were some people who were mightily upset with me for missing a lot of loot on the top of the tower. Um, so let's see if we can go find the loot. And if I if I miss, end up missing any other loot, just let me know. Um, you know, I just, hey, I don't get all the loot, man. There's a lot of hidden loot in these towers. But, um, they, like, they, they were, I was told that in one of the other towers, like, at the very top, um... There's loot, and I think I know where they're talking about. So I'm going to quickly... See, there, I went up in there. Nothing in there. And then I went up in there and got that loot. But there's another tower right here, and I think this is the tower they were talking about that I did not get any loot at. I know I just saw a door. I'm just going to kind of run around here. Make sure there's nothing else in the area. Nope. Okay. And go in the door right here. It is unlocked. Oh, there we go. A shotgun messiah crate. Very good. Very good. I'm not going to be leaving shotgun messiah crates behind, right? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. That doesn't look good. Is that somewhere we're supposed to go? No, I'm supposed to get I'm supposed to get to that from underneath, I believe. I'm not really sure where that is. Uh, we're not gonna be spending a lot of time here though. This is not what this video is about. Um this video is going to be about connecting my two bases. Alright, I don't I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I had some ideas with some hatch elevators, but those apparently have been fixed. I tested them before I started this this uh video, and yes, they have indeed been fixed. Hatch elevators don't work anymore. Um so it looks like we're gonna have to deal with ladders, but I also wanted to set Is that the um the missile silo I did? Or is that a different one? I think it's the one I did. Um yeah, so I'm definitely going to set up some hay bales to fall down on uh, so I can get down quickly. But going up sounds like it's still going to be uh, annoyingly, you know, where you have to kind of walk up the um, uh, walk up the ladder in order to get to the, to the top of my base. Uh, you know, I decided to make my uh, base on the top floor. And, you know, because of that, you know, it is what it is. So let's just come through here. And I think we're just about done. There's some loot down there, but I'm, I don't know how to get to it. And I don't want to be here for too long. So we're going to... You know, we're going to get out of here, but um, if I do find out how to get in there on the way down, I will, you know, let you guys know, and I'll bring back the video. And I nerd pulled all the way up here, by the way, because I wasn't about to, you know, <laughs> go through everything all over again on the inside. All right, guys, I found it. Um, it's over here. Uh, remember this room right here? Right? Uh, this room I came through early in the map. Uh, there was, like, a area over here. Now, I don't usually break through stuff. I think there was some wooden, like, uh, wooden... Uh, platforms here or something like uh, you know the I don't know what you would call them barriers or whatever um, I didn't break through them because you know usually when you're coming through these POIs you don't break through anything it's not designed that way but there are some you can break through that will bring you to special areas and right here are the shotgun messiah crates three shotgun messiah crates so that is just freaking fantastic glad we found these thank you guys for uh, getting me to come back here it's really really freaking good loot man no joke no freaking joke hells yeah well, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Um, I'm living in a tower next to the horde base. Now, I'm thinking I want to set up a ladder system. You got to use ladders. Um, they, they made it so uh, hatch elevators don't work anymore. So, uh, in order to get up, I'm going to have to set up ladders. Maybe I can set up a stairway. Honestly, I think it would be, it would be faster to go up a ladder, though. Yeah, it would definitely be faster to go up a ladder. Because anytime you're going upstairs... What is that? Is that guillot what is that? Is that guillotine? No, not guillotine. Uh, uh, what do they call this? The the hangman's like setup. Not sure. They call they call it stockade. I forget what they call it. That's interesting. I've never seen this before. Huh. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So th the fastest way to go up any any way in any which way that I'm aware of is ladders. Okay. I could make stairs, but the thing is, when you're going upstairs, they it slows you down. Like anytime you're going upstairs, you just go slower. So, yeah, stairs aren't really ideal. Um, definitely ladders are the best way to go. So I need to set up some kind of ladder system. But I'm also going to set up a system where I could fall um, onto hay bales. Now, you can only drop 25 blocks, last I heard, last, last I checked, onto hay bales without hurting your leg. So, you know, you can't just drop all the way down on hay bales. But, you know, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my base. And where the ladder is now, I'll probably make, like, a little system, uh, you know, of hay bales set up so I could drop. And then I'll... Probably not really do much with the ladder. Maybe upgrade the blocks that the ladder are on. Maybe like make it a little bit more protected. And then I'll have and then I'll have a little like area going out the side of the hotel 
um, that will lead to my horde base, so then I'll make some kind of walkway going to the horde base. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of walkway I want to make. I want to make a better looking walkway than the one I made, you know, that's like my uh, getaway, like, you know, if my horde base falls, my little getaway path, you know, across the street. Um, I want to make it, oh, hold on. Eh, the hell with it. I don't have any room for this anyway. Um, yeah, I want to make, I want to make it like a good looking walkway. I'm not really sure how I want to do it though. Uh, usually I like my walkways to be super protected, but it doesn't need to be super protected. But I do want it to look good. So we'll, you know, we'll see what we can do with that. But, uh, that's the idea, and that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about joining up my two bases. And, um, yeah. Uh, so, I'm going to get to it. I should probably chop down some trees while I'm out here, too. Need to make a chainsaw, I think. Ooh, maybe we'll make a chainsaw today. That could be pretty cool. Alright, guys. I have an idea forming in my brain. It's been taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I went ahead and chopped down some wood. Um, I think we're going to mess around with drawbridges today. How about that? How about we? How about I do you one better? Why don't we mess around with powered drawbridges? Alright? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have... I want to, I want to like, a parking spot for my, like, you know... Uh, for my motorcycle here. I don't want to be leaving it out on the freaking road anymore. You never know when some bandits are going to come by and get it. You know, so I'm, I'm going to want to park it inside from now on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a ramp coming up right in between the horde base and the main base. I'm going to have a, one uh, pathway going right and one pathway going left. Okay, the one going left will go to the horde base. The one going right will go to the main base. I'll draw bridges on both sides uh, so, you know, I can control, you know, I don't want zombies coming up there and, you know, walking up the ramp and getting to my horde base or any other, you know, kind of base. So I'm going to put draw bridges on both sides. It should be a lot of fun. And one other thing, I need a chainsaw, okay? Um, I don't know what it is. I guess it's because I, I didn't go into strength tree. I didn't put enough points into sex rex. I don't know what it is. But when I'm swinging the steel axe uh, to get wood, I'm running out of stamina like all the time. Um, I was kind of like thinking about doing the chainsaw anyway, but now that's just, I mean, if I have the power tools, I'm making myself a chainsaw. Um, the problem is I've been selling my auger, so I might not have the power tools. Uh, keep a lookout for one though, and you know, we'll see what we can do. But I'm, uh, chainsaw is now on my radar. Okay, so what I want to do is, oh, uh, well, first things first, let's get upstairs and let's uh, let's go ahead and start the drawbridge because I'm sure it's going to take quite a while to craft. And then I'll show you uh, what I've got planned out here. So let's just come on up here. I got to go farm some clay at some point today too. My wife's going to be calling me at one o'clock from work to chat during lunch. So maybe I'll use that time to go out and, uh, you know, farm up some clay while I'm talking to the old wife. The old wife. All right. So we have enough wood now. I think we have everything we need. So let's go right in here and let's take a look at the uh, draw bridge powered. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive than the other one. I'm actually running low on mechanical parts, but I can get mechanical parts. It's not really that big of a deal. So we're going to go ahead. Yeah, 18 minutes. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So let's go ahead and dump things back in here. I don't know if there's anything else I could throw in there. The springs, yes. No glass. We do need to make some room in our inventory, but I'm in the middle of the video, so let's just do the drop chest thing. All right, there we go. Making room. I will go through this stuff later. Actually, that doesn't go in there. That's going to go in my cell chest. By the way, I've got a lot of stuff to sell, man. we got to do a trader run probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I also made some uh, awesome sauce. I don't know what I did with it, though. It's got to be in here, right? Mm, I think it's downstairs. I don't know. It's somewhere. I made some awesome sauce. Uh, to go ahead and, uh, you know, really, when I sell stuff, just make, you know, get as much... Oh, there it is. Get as much bang for my buck as I can. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. But that is not... Actually, I'll probably do that next video, which I am going to be recording right after this one. So that will be fun. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so let me show you what I got going on here. So this entrance is all staying the same. I don't know if this is going to stay here. It, it might, it might not. Honestly, I really don't know. Um, but it's going to come down here. All right, over here is going to be the walkway in this room that's going to go across to the other base. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's just start playing that out right now. Uh, one, two, one, two. So what are the drawbridges? Are they five or four? I think I think they made them five across now, right? I don't know. I have to know, though, so let me go ahead and take a look. Don't worry, I won't keep this one. I just need to know. Uh, power. Okay, so that looks like, hold on, oh, where's the door? There it is. What is that, five across? I can't, I can't even tell. That really doesn't help. <laughs> it really doesn't help. Okay, so that's right there. So that's one block out. So that means uh, one block there. So that's one, two, three. I thought they said they're five now. That's still four. Unless it's like, oh, no, there it is. There it is. 
Yep, that's the whole drawbridge. So they are five across now. At least I hope so. I hope that's what I'm seeing. Uh, let's get rid of this. And let's get out of CM mode. I'm going to assume they're five across because they used to be four across. They never got pissed off because they're not like, you know, odd numbers. Um, there's no door that lines up with it, you know. Uh, there used to be a, draw a jail door that could line up with it, but they took it out. So they made them five across now, so that's cool. All right, so one, two. There we go, five. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the drawbridge can go right past here. So let's go ahead and set this up like so. There we go. This is going to be made out of uh, flagstone, and I'll eventually upgrade it. It doesn't need to be reinforced concrete, although I might upgrade it to reinforced concrete at some point. Um, it's not going to be anytime soon, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to do a, uh, I'm just going to do flagstone. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and scrap that for the thing. All right. So let's go downstairs, and we're going to have to break out these stairs as well. I want to solidify that second floor, um, but that's for later. That's obviously not really a problem right now. What is a problem right now is I need some cobblestone. All right, guys. I've gone into a test world um, just to check out the. Just to check out the drawbridge exactly, uh, it is 5 by 7 um, but it does take up the block that it's on. So if I'm going to put the drawbridge on this block, this it only needs to go this way 6 blocks, and the 7th block needs to be an actual block. So you leave open 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the 7th one needs to be a block. Okay, So right here is going to be the platform. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a ramp coming up this way. All right, I'm going to ride the bike up here, and then this is going to be a platform here. It's going to be at like a 7x5, uh, I think. All right, these right here are going to be are going to be poles to hold the whole thing up, right? And then we come this way, there'll be a drawbridge going this way and a drawbridge going that way, okay? Now, we're only going to have time to put in one drawbridge today because this is turning out to be quite a lengthy process. Um, but for now, let me just go ahead and set this up. I don't know how I'm going to do the ramps yet. The ramps are going to be kind of like play it by ear. But for now, let me just go ahead and get the platform set up that I already have here. And the first thing we need to do is make room for the poles. Um, I'll probably use Pillar 100s just because they look better uh, than the Pillar 50s. Although technically, the Pillar 50s would probably be a better way to go because they take up less space, less chance for the zombies to get caught up on them. But honestly, the zombies really shouldn't be caught up on any of this. Although for, you never know with Horde Knight. So, I don't know. Maybe I will use Pillar 100s. I mean, they just don't look as good, you know? Like, those are... Uh, maybe I will use Pillar 50s, but they just don't look as good. Those Pillar 100s look a lot better. Um, but the Pillar 50s, the zombies, I think, will have an easier time getting by them. All right, now for the fun part. I get to make a ramp that goes all the way up there. That should be pretty fun. And, you know, you really can't make the ramp turn. It's got to be pretty much a straight shot. Um, because the vehicles in this game don't turn very well. Um, I, you could probably make it work. Maybe, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They, they just don't turn very well. Now I have this set up uh, to where I could put make this five wide as the ramp, but I'm only going to make the ramp three wide at the start just because this is already a daunting project. Um, I'm going to need flagstone wedges at first. There we go. And that's right in the middle. Okay. And we're going to have to nerd pull up there every time we want to do something. This is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And I know it's getting a little dark. I will turn up the gamma if I need to. I'm thinking about next episode doing a, um, a nighttime loot run. So I might do that. And uh, if I do that, I will definitely turn up the gamma. Because I do like nighttime loot runs. And I do like to make you guys fear, you know, the nighttime. But at the same time, you know, if you can't see anything, it's not really that great. Um, okay, so how do I want to deal with this? I think I'll put one... Um, uh, see, I, I want to. I got to put something below it. I'm just not sure where... And what and how. Um, how often do I want to put the pillars? Um, I don't think I want to put the pillars on there right now. I'm thinking about putting the pillars on there the next shot down. So let's just go up. But if we're not going to put the pillars up there, we need to decide how we're going to do this. Um, I'm thinking... Oh, there's only one real way to do this. Uh, well, on face work. Yep. It's not going to quite look exactly the way I want it to. But I think it's going to look pretty decent. Oh, yeah. Actually, that looks pretty cool. It's not perfect, but it's it's got character. And I like that. All right. So this one will be this one right here again. Now we go back to the... What is it called, anyway? The flagstone wedge. Okay. And on face. No, that's not going to work. We need to go advance. Oh, actually, let's just look up to this one and then go to copy rotation. There we go. 
Uh, maybe I should just use regular, regular ramps. I'm using these flagstone ramps because they're, they're just, it's a smoother ride up. But man, this thing is going to be, ugh. This is going to be like a mile long ramp. I don't know if I want to deal with that. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. Now, this is not the way I would have chosen to do it. This, this ramp is uh, too steep for my taste, but it's the lesser of two evils. I, you know, it was either this or like have the ramp like start way over here and just be like a... A freaking long ass ramp. This will be fine. You just got to be careful at the top. Or you'll go flying off the, the edge, which might be pretty comical. You know, who knows? There we go. No, you son of a biatch. Get out of here. Okay. And this one right here, copy rotation. And there we go. And this one's looking like in the back. I think it looks pretty slick. Um, that doesn't look great, but... What, what will eventually happen is I'll put more on the side. Don't forget, this is going to be five wide. So once I put another set on the side, that whole thing will be covered. Like, that's not going to be today, though. Um, this is already being uh, becoming a bloated video as far as, like, you know, how long it's taking me to do it. But, um, you know, sometimes when you have those ideas, you just, you know, you just got to make a long video, man. It's just the way it goes. It's just Well, it's not going to be long, but it's going to be long to make it, that's for sure. So you just come right up here. All right. Oh, Oh, okay. Well, you know what? We might not have a choice. All right, guys. I went ahead and rebuilt it, and it does work. Here, I'll prove it to you. It's still a little slow, but, you know, it gets the job done. Oh, actually, that's not as slow as I thought. Cool. So there we go. We got the ramp all set up. The platform's good. Um, I did go ahead and grab the drawbridge, so let's go ahead and put it down. And I think I'm going to put the drawbridge on this side, because it makes more sense for it to be on th the side I'm on. So let's just go ahead. We had a zombie come in here and mess with me when I was built this little walkway and he freaking came up and got off my business. So I'd, I'd take him out. There we go. Alright, so now is the moment of truth. This is going to be a pain in the butt if I recall correctly. And I want it to go that way. And yeah, this is, this is, um, I'm not really sure I'm supposed to do this. Uh, no, we definitely want it to go that way. So it's got to go right on the edge, right there. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to put this down, to be honest. Um, let me go ahead and come off the side here. When I did it in my uh, in my like test world, I, I was in creative mode, so I was flying. So it was a lot easier than that. Oh, I think you need to put it in the middle. That's right, it goes in the middle. All right, so what we need to do is we need to set up a middle part. That's right. We need to set up a little... like You can basically just build an entire like wood frame platform in here you know just to kind of get it done i'll just build three out it should be that should be enough <clears throat> i probably won't even have to go all the way across but i will just to you know because i can there we go because it it seems to want a place in the middle not on one side or the other which is just bizarre it really is bizarre so let's i mean you thought it was weird in alpha 17 it's just gotten weirder all right so you see um Please do this right. Please do this right. Like that. Oh, I can't tell which way it's supposed to go. No, that's definitely going that way. Yeah. Oh, man. I No, I don't. No. Okay, so you see the... Okay. So you see the handle The handle things? Those... Yeah, that should go down like that. Yeah. That should be right. God, I hope I do this right. I, I could pick it up, though, with a land claim block, I think. Oh, I don't know. I simply don't know. It looks pretty good to me, honestly. We're going to use a uh, battery bank because I don't have a generator bank for this. So we're just going to go ahead and place that right there. And place some batteries in there. And then we're going to take um, a wiring tool and a switch. And we're going to put the switch right there. Hook it up. Hook that up to that. And turn this on. And this should work. There you go. Oh, boy. I placed it down correctly. Oh, did I ever. Did I ever. Oh, man, that's freaking sweet. Now, I know what you're thinking. Cage. Motion sensors. Pressure plates. Come on, bro. Don't worry. We will do it. We're not going to do it in this video. One thing at a time. You know, let's just get this sucker set up. And then I'm thinking motion sensors are going to be the way to go. I should be able to set up motion sensors to detect my presence 
and lower the drawbridge at will. And then, like, give it, like, a 10-second delay or something. And then raise it again afterwards. And I can play around with that. Should not be a problem. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so now what we want to do is... We want to put a switch on the other on the other end, too. Now, I don't really know how I'm going to set this up. So, for the time being, I will just put the switch... <sighs> nah, I'll put them on flagstone blocks. It's easy enough to break out. So, what we'll do is we'll put the uh, the switch on the flagstone blocks. One will go there. One will go there. Put that right there. Hook this up. We're going to need a relay because that, that's probably too far. Um, I do have some relays on me, so let me go ahead and grab those. And for now, we'll just hook this up quick and dirty. Just because, you know. Yeah, that'll work. Quick and dirty. We'll make it look better later. I just want to get it working right now. Okay, so you go to there. You go to there. You go... Come on. To there. All right. So... All right, so let's say I'm out and about, and I'm driving back, and I'm like, ho-hum, driving back to my base, driving back to my base, driving back, here I am, my base. Normally, I keep pressure plates or maybe a motion sensor up here, but for now, the switch will do. Flip the switch, and it didn't work because I didn't hook it up to the drawbridge, of course. Of course. Oh, that's a bad spot for the wire. Ugh. Oh, it's gross. Um, now well, I'll figure something out with that. All right, so there we go. And it's down. All right, and here we are. In the base. All right, there's one other thing I want to do before we go. And I'm going to mess around with these wires off camera. Ugh, I hate that. I'm going to mess around with these cameras off wire. But what I want to do right now is, um, we need to take out these stairs. And I first started taking out the stairs with the auger. And then I was thinking, eh, let's try some dynamite. This might be overkill, but let's give it a shot. Oh, crap. Don't clap the whole freaking base. Ooh, that's scary. That's scary, man. Um, I'm going to have to get some uh, reinforced concrete supports in here at some point. I didn't realize it would do that much. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty scary. But, yeah, the dynamite's pretty cool. Um, you know... Cut out a couple things in here, and the zombies can't get up to me anymore. Yeah, it's pretty scary, though. They gotta need to be collapsing the whole freaking area. Anyway, that's for another time. Guys, what do you think of the drawbridge? Pretty cool, right? I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna mess around with the wiring. Uh, I'm gonna get the wiring so it's not in the way because that's really bothering me. I need to make some more relays. There's a lot of things I need to do. But anyway, I am gonna call this one here. If you're never enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. All right, I know we already ended the video, but I'm doing a little bit of post video content here because I did a lot of work on this thing and I think it's gonna work now. Let's take a look at it. Now imagine this is like my garage. Not much of a garage just yet, but it, you know, it's gonna be a garage. And I pull out and there it goes. And then I go out into the world to find my fortune. And let's say, you know, I'm coming back on, on the end of a hard day's looting. All right, coming up, coming back, coming back. And there we go. I think I have to adjust the camera a little bit more, but it's, it's functional. I think I can make it better though. It's really hard with the camera because you can't use two different cameras. You, you have to use one camera for both sides. So this is the camera angle I've got. You know, I've got to cover this area and that area over there all with this one camera. All right. And that's what I got going on here. The generator, this isn't being used anymore. There's nothing over there. Um, basically, the, the bank's going from here to here to the camera. The camera's going down there and into the drawbridge. Everything else is pointless, but it works. You know, it's just, uh, it's not quite perfect yet. It's pretty close to perfect, though, uh, for what I'm going to get from this, uh, from this system, I think. So, all right, guys, that's the real end of the video. I'll see you next time. Let's watch it. For, let's watch it for a little while. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about.